Merry Christmas, everyone. On this uh, feast day of the Summer to Mary, let us stand and greet our neighbor. Let us gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, on this start of the new year, we ask God to enter into our hearts, our lives, our homes, that we who celebrate these sacred mysteries this morning may truly receive the forgiveness of all of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. God in
Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Bless us in his mercy. Bless us in his mercy. Bless us in his mercy. God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you no longer are a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir, through God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, 
be in your heart and on your lips, that may proclaim this holy gospel worthily and well. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Google's infinite wisdom, they, they asked questions they always ask of the population every year, around this time of year, about what people's New Year's resolutions are going to be. And if this sounds familiar, it, it should be, because it's basically been the same for the past decade now. Uh, people's resolutions haven't changed very much. It's the same as it was last year. It's to exercise and lose weight, to uh, save more money, and to travel. And I don't have a crystal ball, but I would suspect those same resolutions will pop up next year as well, in 2024. For all of our missteps and mistakes, we're creatures that never give up. Despite the evidence on the scale and our bank accounts, we believe that nothing is impossible. So it's very fitting, extremely fitting, that today, the day dedicated to Mary, we celebrate her who knew only too well that nothing is impossible with God. This day we honor Mary, um, the mother of God, the mother of all possibility, the mother of our salvation and hope. Like the first day of the start of a new year, the start of a new calendar, Mary is pure, unblemished by all the marks that are made. And if we're honest, we, we wish our lives could be the same in some way. Every year we resolve and we try to make them so. But there's maybe a better way, a different way. Maybe we need to try harder to model our lives and hopes and prayers on the women we honor this day. Let these be our resolutions then. Resolutions of faith, of hope, of love. Resolutions of humility and trust. In short, we resolve to be more like Mary. First, we resolve to be open to miracles, to listen to angels, just like Mary did, however we may find them. We resolve to be prepared for the unexpected and to bring whatever God gives us as a grace. We resolve to serve as God's servant, as his handmaid, as his instrument. We resolve to do it with haste, just as Mary served her cousin Elizabeth. We resolve to magnify God 
So our souls and our lives and everything that we are can beautifully and boldly proclaim the greatness of, of God. And then we resolve to go wherever God wants us to go. Trust that He'll be with us no matter how hard the challenge is, no matter how arduous the journey, even if it's on the back of a donkey. We resolve to always point others to Christ. Remembering Mary's last recorded words in Scripture to do whatever He tells you. We resolve to embrace Him when others deny Him. And to love the body of Christ even when it is broken, even when it's bleeding and scarred. And resolve today to never forget that nothing is impossible for God. This New Year's Day, still basking in the glory of Christmas, by the way, Merry Christmas, uh, let us make these resolutions, our promises, our aspirations. That we may not, these, these things, they, they may not do much to move the number on our bathroom scale. They may not add to our bank account, but in this moment of possibility and renewal, on the very cusp of the beginning of a new year, they remind us of what can be. Mary, our, our mother, she stands before us as a towering example and witness to all that is possible. She's the mother of God and the source of all our hope. By the grace of God in this feast and throughout this new year, let us resolve always to remember that Mary gave to the world our hope and what she continues to give. And may we continue to learn from her and grow in fidelity, love, and trust that this new year can truly be a source of blessing in our lives. So Happy New Year, everyone, and Merry Christmas. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. At the beginning of this new year, as we celebrate the motherhood of Mary, we implore God's blessing upon our worlds, our church and families, and pray for peace in this time of new grace. For the church, made holy by the living word and the Holy Spirit, and for all Christians who treasure and ponder God's word as Mary did, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for peace among nations, for refugees and exiles in every land, for the visitors and strangers in our midst, and for those separated from their families and homes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this parish community, may we embrace our call to serve one another with compassion and love, 
and seek out those among us who are in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in mind or body, and all who care for them, may they find consolation and peace in Christ's healing presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the members in our parish, and especially for John Bronson, and for Doc, Joanne, and Dan Cahill, whom we remember in a special way through the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they come to enjoy perfect happiness with all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers and the needs that each of us holds in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, O God Most High, and bring to birth the eternal lights for our days through the intercession of Mary, your mother. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness 
begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment. Grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that she should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a beautiful day and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please don't take those Christmas decorations down yet. There's still one more full week of Christmas uh, to celebrate. Um, in fact, eight more days left. Um, so just make sure to enjoy the time and Happy New Year. Hope the year is filled with lots of blessings and uh, graces as well. Um, yeah, uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.